You got it? Okay. Uh, hold on. Move it to your right. Okay? Now, push it straight out. Get up. Okay? So there we go. There we go. Now, straight in. You're underneath. Okay, good. Go. Okay. Oh my gosh, I feel so accomplished right now. Yeah. Good job. YouTube, what is up? Thanks for joining us. Uh, we are doing another day of reconstruction and demo on our RV. Um, today we're mostly going to be focusing on reframing, rebuilding the overcab from water damage. Here we go. It's really hot again, like every other time we filmed. We have to rebuild the framework because right now, whenever we stand on here, we get poked and prodded and plus, um, after, if you went through this, it would be the outside. So it's really not strong enough to uh, to stand on or anything like that. My father-in-law just got here. Yay! He's so great. He's so smart and generous with his time and his wisdom. So we really appreciate that. We're not sure how we would have done half this stuff without him. What we should do is get these other two bys sistered in. So everything looks pretty darn good right there. Do you want to go out and, uh, well, let's see, how do we want to do this? I'm going to drill out um, one side and I'm going to drill out the other side and I'm going to get the thing secured and then I'm going to go through the center ones. Well, I tell you what, we got what we paid for, that's for sure. I still think we got a really good deal. I know we got a really good deal. So where are you saying we got what we paid for? I mean, it takes a lot of work, but we're willing to put the work in, so. Right. Good morning, utterances. That's the Central Missouri Farms commercial. So right now we are cutting for the overcab. We've got all the framework down. This is going to be that solid piece that we're going to add to that. Wish me luck, right? <laughs> We just got done cutting out this um, plywood that we're going to be putting into the overcab 
it fits just fine. Um, the only issue was is the overcap was 53 inches long and this guy is only 48 inches wide. That's pretty much all they make the boards in is 4 by 8 So 4 foot by 8 foot. Essentially this area right here we had, um, I don't know if you can see it, we had two piece or two strips of one by three um, that we had initially had. Um, well, whenever you take these down and put this guy where it needs to go, you can notice that if there's only two of them, one, two, this guy right here wasn't there, so there was a gap. So what we ended up doing was just um, taking another one by three and fitting that in onto both sides, screwing it into our two framework pieces underneath the two by twos. And so now we've got essentially a flat level area where we can kind of cut out um, the rest of this guy into these areas right here. Okay, don't freak out. It's on your shoulder. Holy! Okay, you like that little flip move? <laughs> that's pretty sweet. <laughs> that, that was, that's why having like not toned triceps is really good because that thing just flung off there. <laughs> I, had that, I had that arm flap going, it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a tsunami shockwave that just threw him off. <laughs> Alright, perks of not being in shape. <laughs>